Hello Splash and a really warm welcome to another Splash session on this Sunday. It's really lovely to be with you and I don't normally get the chance to be with you so it's great to be able to do this video today. And today we're talking about stories. Our main service is looking at one story in the Bible and we're going to look at a slightly different one but the same kind of thing in the things that Jesus did. Now many people who've been into our house and into my study will tell you that I have an awful lot of books in there. I've got books about all different things, things that help me in planning services, things that help me in doing children's work, books that I've just really enjoyed reading and that have helped me think about things that I'm doing. I wonder what is your favourite book? If you're at home at the moment with other people, have a bit of a conversation and just chat about what your favourite book is. What is your favourite story? I tend to have a couple of books that I'm reading at any one time. One of them is usually a book that I need to think a little bit more about when I'm reading. And one is generally a storybook, a story that someone's written um, about people and their lives. And I enjoy reading those kind of things. Both the ones that are about people's lives who are living uh, and just about stories that are made up. So I wonder what you are reading at the moment. Perhaps you want to put something on Facebook and tell us what kind of books you're reading, maybe through school or maybe at home. You won't be very surprised to know that one of my favourite books is, of course, the Bible. And the Bible has got no end of stories in it. Lots of different stories about different people that we know about. And stories that we think about together on a Sunday. You will have seen a photograph of all the books in my study. And I've got lots of different story books as well. Stories that help me to tell stories to different ages of people. This is the Bible aimed particularly at older children. But it's a Bible that tells us, again, all the stories that Jesus told, all the stories in the Old Testament about God's people. Now in church today, they're looking at a story called uh, about the parable of the fig tree. We're going to look at a different parable. Now I wonder if you know what a parable is. Jesus used parables in his teaching a lot. A parable is a way of telling a story. And Jesus was really good at telling stories to people. He would use the things that people knew at that time, the things around them, the things that maybe were important to them. So where he was talking about farming, he'd talk about fields. We could talk about some of the fields around us here in Yaxley. When he was talking about people, he would talk about people that they would identify with and know. And so today we're going to look at one story. And we're going to look at the story of the lost sheep. It's the parable of the lost sheep. So it's a story that Jesus told to help people understand more about him and more about God's love. Now I think we need to give this sheep a name. I don't know what you want to call him. I'm going to call him Sam the sheep. And this sheep was part of a big flock of sheep. Maybe there are a hundred or more sheep. And the shepherd, the person who looks after the sheep, was looking after all the sheep and they have to count really often how many sheep there were. So he went round counting and naming all the sheep that he had. And he got to the end of his counting and he got to 99. He realised that this one sheep, that Sam the sheep, was not there any longer. Sam the sheep had decided to go for a bit of a walk and the shepherd cared so much about that one sheep, about Sam, that he had to leave all those other sheep. And he went and he walked and he looked everywhere. He looked in other fields. He looked over cliffs. He looked to see where this sheep had gone. And eventually he found Sam and Sam had got lost. Sam was a bit afraid because he got lost and he was separated from all his friends. But that shepherd cared so much about this one sheep that he went and he found this one sheep and brought it back into all the flock of sheep again and cared for them. Now take a moment and I wonder what that story says to you about God. Have a little think. So 
So I wonder what that story made you think about God's love and God's care. What did you chat about in those few minutes? Well, the story or the parable that Jesus told us reminds us of God's love and God's care for everyone. I have a beautiful shepherd and a sheep that I bought a while ago. And I love these, they sit on a shelf above my desk and remind me of God's love and God's care for each one of us. And the story tells us that even if you are in a big group of people, God cares about every single person in that group. If we go back to our story and we think about our shepherd with all the sheep together, we remember that the shepherd left those 99 sheep just to go and find the one because that one was really important as well as all the other 99. And it means that wherever we go, whatever we are doing, God cares about us. God cares about our story and what's happening in our life. Sometimes it's really easy to feel as if you don't matter, but you always matter to God who always cares about you. So we're going to have a look at our own story now. I'm just going to move these bits out of the way. I want to tell you about a way that I think about my story, about the things that happen in my life. And I like to remember the ways that God has helped me in my life, the things that he's done. And so one of the things that I do is I keep a journal. All you need to have to keep a journal is a notebook. It doesn't have to look like this. This was a present that someone gave me uh, and it's really beautiful. But you might just have some bits of paper. That's fine as well. The other things that I, I love to have are some colour pens. I'm sure you've got some of those. And I like to have stickers as well as I'm doing my journaling. And all I do in it is write things about times when God has been with me, about things that are going on in my life and where I've seen God at work. It might be that you want to note down something that's happened this week. Perhaps you've had a very special time. Maybe you've had a really sad day this week. And I write those kind of things down. Then every now and then I go back and I read all the things that I've written or stuck in here to remind me that God is always with me, whatever I am doing. So our activity today is going to be looking at our own story about looking where God is with us. All you need to have is a plain piece of paper, doesn't matter if it's got lines on it to be fair, a ruler, a pencil and you might again want to use some colour pens. All I want you to do at the bottom of your piece of paper is to draw a line. Just leave a little gap at either end and it should look something like that. Now that line might represent the whole of your life. It might show every year of your life if you want that to do that. I've got slightly more years than you have so my line might be a bit longer. You might want to use your line to be the last week, maybe even the last day. And then on your line, I want you to think about things that have happened in your life. Maybe some really good things, maybe some more difficult things. And I want you to put those on the line. So you might want to start from this side and your left hand side is the time that you were born. And the end of your line is today in 2020. So draw some things on your line about things that have happened in your life or in your week or in your day. Now I've done a couple of examples for you to, so you can see what kind of things it might be. So that's when I was born, that's today. And I've just drawn some peaks and some peaks of where things have happened in my life. I've coloured them in as well. Some of them I've put happy faces on. Some of them I've just coloured in different colours. And those things are things that have been important in my life. they have been times when I've moved house. They've been the time that I got married. They've been the times when some of the sad things in life have happened to me. So you may like it that way, or I've got an alternative, where I've just drawn lots of wiggly lines with ups and downs on them. I've just put crosses in important places to me. Doesn't matter how you do this, what matters is how, what works best for you. 
So just spend a bit of time today and make your own picture of your life. And then if you can, remember those times that you've known God being really close to you. If you think back to our shepherd and our sheep, we remember that God really cares about that one sheep and God really cares about you today. So think about your own story and then think about where God has been really important in your story. You might want to put these onto our Facebook page, Ask an Adult to put them on there so we can see what you've been doing. You might want to keep them for yourself, so that's absolutely fine. But have a go today at just drawing out a bit of your story and thinking about that. And so at the end of our time together, we're going to take some time to pray. There's a really special prayer and it's called the Examine. And it's a way of looking back and thinking about your day. And so it's something that you could do at the end of every day. You think about what has been really good today. You think about what has not been quite so good today. You think about times when you've known God today, when he's been there with you. And there might be something in today that you want to give thanks to God for. So we're going to have a prayer together. So let us pray. You can put your hands together if you want to and close your eyes or you don't have to. God is always with us and hears our prayers. So Father God, as I look back on today, I want to thank you for the things that have happened today. For the people that I've met today, maybe people I've had a phone call with or a video call with. As I think back on today, I think that today has been a really good day, or perhaps today has been a really difficult day. It doesn't matter, bring those things to God because he cares about how you feel today. And if I think about today, God, I want to bring out one thing, one thing that I want to remember about today. And I want to thank you for being with me today as I go into this next day and into this next week. I thank you that you are always with me. I thank you that you care about me for who I am. So help me to know your love and your care today. Amen. And so let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. It's been really lovely to spend this time with you this week. There'll be another splash session next week and you can always look back at the older ones that are on our YouTube site as well. I hope that you have a really special week and I hope that you know this week that God is always with you and that God cares about you for who you are. Have a great week and be blessed.